Hey, welcome to Graphic Policy Television GPTV. I'm Brett. It's New Wii Comics, and in my hands is a We Live number three. We've done the reviews for the first two issues, and I've loved each issue, so I'm excited to talk about the third issue. Uh, this is seriously, I think, one of my favorite new series of the year. Published by Aftershock Comics, it's uh, like really just a crown jewel in the, the publisher's hat for the year. Uh, Sinaki Miranda and Roy Miranda is the writers. Uh, Inaki is the artist. Eva De La Cruz is the colorist. Dave Sharp is the letterer. So this is basically the concept. It's in the future, and just mankind is just is is on the brink of extinction. Thing after thing after thing is just just demolish uh, uh, humanity. Uh, and then there's this message from space, and the message is like we can save some of you. Uh, we want I think it's like five thousand kids. You have to get them to these lo this certain location uh, by this time period, and we'll get these kids out. So this is the story about a few of those kids as they journey towards wherever they're going to get out and uh, be picked up by who knows what. Uh, of course, it has not gone as planned, completely haywire. Uh, and the, the series has been really great. I think like the, the concepts are really simple, the, the journeying and the humanity and getting off the planet and stuff like that. Like That is, we, we've seen so many times before. I think what really stands out to me about the series is the fact that it does a fantastic job of uh, delivering a lot of details and world building. Um, it really is, I think, a top-notch example of how to do that uh, in a comic series, and, and every single issue has built off the previous one in some way, uh, revealing a little bit more as it continues to uh, uh, focus on its journey of getting these kids to uh, the pickup point. Uh, so this issue, uh, there, there's uh, two ki groups of kids. Uh, one's uh, Hototo and, and his big sister. Hototo is the one supposed to get out. Um, Hototo is absolutely adorable. I love that kid. I would adopt him in about two seconds. And uh, they've been captured by uh, these this very strange forces. And the you know creators have used the issue to kind of dive back and, and show yet like another screw up and thing that's destroying humanity and why things have gotten kind of where they're at and while well, giving us kind of like a new uh, some new threats. It's really interesting is that it helps, again, build off this world and, and really um, flesh it out while also driving the story forward. Uh, we get a little bit of kind of tragedy with these villains, uh, and it goes from there. Lots of action, lots of kind of gross sci-fi um, uh, twists and turns. Like this is this is kind of this is a little bit hard to to look at at times, but this is your I think out of all of them is really the one that out of the three that dives really into action um you know it's it's me i'll be honest it's the weakest of the three so far but i still really like it i mean the the first issue i thought was damn near perfect the second issue is way up there um i really liked it and this one's just a really solid uh solid comic um you know there's there's nothing bad about it it's just funny that the first two were so good so it's kind of hard to, to judge the third issue uh without kind of reflecting on that but the you know it, it builds off the series really well. It adds some new uh, elements to it and more more threats. And I, I'm kind of liking how the series is, is doing that, like how it's just unveiling a little bit at the time of showing just how much how it has gone to shit. Um, and these this villains is, is interesting. It's very kind of like I am legend to it. I, I I dig it. I like the concept. Um, and then where the series where the issue ends. Is fantastic. I think the the series has been doing a great job of setting something up in the beginning and then giving you a twist at the end where you're just like, oh shit, I need to see the next ep next uh, issue. I was about to say next episode, next issue. Um, and this one does that really, really well. So I like, I can't wait for the next issue because where this one ended up uh, gives us like a whole another threat to go through. Um, so I said, like the the story itself it is really basic. We've seen it so many times, but it's just done well. It's done well with great detail. The art is amazing. Um, the art coloring, all of it's just top notch. So open up, showing off the threat. And as I said, it's very I Am Legend. There's like this virus that was going around in the past and kind of turned these people in these, I don't even know what you'd call them. It, it, they look really jacked up. It, like, kind of like the kind of plant people sort of things. Like, it's, it's really, really weird looking. Um, so you get, like, a little tinge of horror in this ep uh, issue, which I kind of dig. Like, I, I really do dig um, that look. And then you get, like, really just beautiful art. I don't want to show off the code, but you get beautiful art like this, too. I mean, it's just such a, a great visual series with, with good storytelling. I mean, it's, it's top-notch sci-fi. Like, I would love this as a television series. Um, 
Series continue. It's really good. Like I, I really like it. I think as a whole, it's going to be one of the best of the year. Um, just fantastic stuff. Uh, great art, great story, great world building, uh, top notch stuff. Uh, you know, this might be the first issue that didn't hit me in some way in some emotional impact, but really still enjoyed it. It, it had that just familiar uh, feel to it in a lot of ways and in good ways. Um, so it's out now in comic shops. You can should go get it. Like go get the first two issues if you haven't been reading them, and, and then go dive into this third issue. For those who've read the first two issues, I think you're going to dig this, as it just gives a little bit more layers to uh, one of the many disasters that has uh, hit up humanity. Uh, you know, it, it, we got a link beneath this video where you can check out, uh, find a local shop. You put in your zip code, tell the shops there. You know, shop no problem. We do have some affiliate links. There are affiliate links, so we get a small percentage of that by doing that. You help support our site, so thank you. And speaking of support, I want to thank Aftershock for helping us up with the review copy, and thank you for watching. Now, if you're into Aftershock, if you're into comics in general, check us out every single day at graphicpolicy.com or on Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, Tumblr, all at Graphic Policy, keeping it nice and consistent. So until next time, keep reading those comics and keep it geeky. Hey, thanks for watching the previous video from Graphic Policy Television. Just by watching, you help support our site. Thank you so much. Now, if you're watching these videos, you probably care about geeky things like movies, television, comic books, toys, games, video games, you name it. You can go and subscribe right now to our YouTube channel to stay in touch and catch all the new videos, or check out our website at graphicpolicy.com. There's a nice link on this end of the video. But as always, thank you for watching. Keep on rocking and keep it geeky.